Storytelling time. Yeah. My name is Dakota Roche. I am a BMX rider. Do you want me to say like professional BMX rider or like does that matter or I ride BMX or? It's okay, man. That was that we're gonna use that intro. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> This took place about 10 or 11 years ago now. It was a while ago. I just turned pro, riding every day, trying to film every day. Like, you gotta do this. Like, me and my buddy Kurt were out riding a campus in California, and I wanted to check out this rail because I had a trick in mind at the time, and I was just like, yeah, this is a perfect rail for it. And the way this rail was set up was like, it was like a four stair, like it went down, and then it went out like eight feet. And, uh, and it landed in a parking lot. Funny thing about the rail was, you couldn't really, you didn't really have like a good like visual of, of I guess like the parking lot from where you had to start to hit the rail. We didn't think much of it, it's an empty parking lot. It's chilling, you know? What happened was, as I was on the rail, my friend was like, yo, there's a car coming. I literally flew off the rail and landed on my bike on the hood of the car. Land sprocket stall on the car it's going way faster than it should have been in a parking lot, mind you. The speed of it causes me to like topple over, smash into the windshield with like my shoulder and my head, spider the windshield. Then the car realized what had happened, slammed on its brakes, and I flew off the front. And then I'm laying on the ground like, oh my God. And I got up and I started cracking up. Like I was just laughing so hard that I was alive. I was like, I'm alive right now. Like, how did this happen? And this lady came out and she was so pissed at me. I feel like personally we were both in the wrong because I didn't look for cars and I don't think she stopped at the stop sign. Before I could even like gather my stuff and like kind of get out of there, campus police showed up. I didn't think much of it because I didn't get a ticket or anything like that. But a few months later, I got a call from a lawyer and she sued me for damages to her Lexus. Like I said, I feel like we both were kind of at fault. And we both should have just parted ways and just been like, all right, you know, you deal with your car, I'll deal with my brain <laughs> damage. <laughs> a year after, I got fifth at my first X Games and I think I made like five grand and I had to fork over all of that money, five grand to her. Yeah, it was a wash. It was like, oh yeah, you got fifth at X Games, but you don't get any money because you got to give it to some girl that you landed on her car a year prior. I mean, it's at least a funny story or kind of funny. I don't know. $5,000 story. Yeah, $5,000 story. Yeah. What? How? What? Uh, you're confused. You're alone. It's Saturday night. You have no pants on. Click here to watch more.